Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shock with GG, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining how you guys can find your perfect scents. Now, before the video starts, I just want to say that if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Anyways, on to the video. So, for the very first tip we have is your DPI. It's very important that you find a good DPI. For the most part, I'd say that the industry standard is 400 or 800 DPI, so I'd say pick either of those two. I personally play on 400 DPI, but I have some experience on 800, and it's actually pretty good as well. So you gotta have to look at your mouse space. If you have a big mouse pad and you have a lot of desk room, then you can try out 400 DPI. If you don't, however, you may be stuck to 800 DPI. But either way, I would say stick to either of those two. All right, so next up is your in-game sense. Now, basically, all you're gonna wanna do for this is you're gonna wanna go in-game, okay? And you're gonna wanna find two different objects, okay? So this could be drones, trees, doorways, um, really anything around the map. Uh, I would say go into a custom game if you want to avoid the terrorist hunt bots kind of like killing you or shooting at you while you're trying to do this. But basically just find two separate objects that are decently spaced apart. Not like super far, but just a little bit spaced apart uh, as you see on screen. And then you're going to want to change your hip fire by 3 to 5 in game if you're at 400 DPI and by 2 or 3 if you're on 800 DPI. And basically what you're trying to do is change your sense little by little until you find something where you can flick to both of those two objects accurately. Now keep in mind, you're only changing your hip fire right now. So don't be ADS trying to do this. We're gonna cover your ADS sense in a second. But for right now, all you wanna do is try changing your hip fire sense by three to five if you're 400 or two to three if you're 800. Change it by that amount and just try for like five minutes each time you change, trying to flick from one object to another. Another thing you can do though, is you can basically practice 180. So it's really, really important that you can 180. So if looking on these two objects is really important, but it's also really important that you can be looking straight in front of you and then directly behind you in a perfect 180. So once you can do that, both hip fired and ADS, if you want an, if you want a high ADS, of course, if, you, if you're going for a low ADS sense, you know, that, you know, of course, you're not going to expect to be able to do that. Um, but if you're having a really high ADS, you could try it with that as well. Like a, a one to one hip fire ADS sense, something like that. Um, but yeah, basically hip fire or hip fire 180s are going to be really important for finding your hip fire sense as well going to be very very important that you try to do that as well hip fires are so important in siege or 180 sorry because oftentimes you're getting flanked or something like that so it's really important to try and master your 180 sense your 180 flicks so once you can do that you'll be perfect i swear everything will work out just fine for you once you feel as if you found something very very solid and you can accurately flick to consistently then you can move on to your ads speed but remember you need to change your hip fire before your ads because I'm pretty sure it still works the way where hip fire uh, affects your ADS speed. So try to find your hip fire sense before you go in and try to find your ADS sense. So now, for your ADS sense, it's going to be slightly more difficult than it, what it used to be because before it was just one slider that you changed and it kind of just changed everything and it was a little bit more simple than it is now. Um, so unfortunately, this is going to be really really difficult to sort of master and figure out exactly like what you think your ads sense should be if you're on advanced if you're using the advanced it's going to be very very difficult to find your ads speed it's definitely possible it's just going to take you a lot of time you're basically have to go in and you're going to have to change your ads sense a bunch until you figure out what feels good for each scope so as you can see, it's it's gonna take you a long time to do this because you have to go in with a 1x, a 1.5x, you know, a 2x, a 2.5x, a 3x, 5x, uh, I think there's a 4x, a 12x. So as you can see, it's gonna take you quite a while to do this. So uh, if you wanna do that, that's completely fine. But if you want the simpler way of doing things, I would say to stay on standard for right now until you kinda get the gist of everything and just change your ads sense by like five points i would just change it by a solid five so go up or down by five and that's on standard of course and to kind of see what feels comfortable for you um, i think it's harder to mess up ads sense but it's definitely going to 
be significantly more complicated if you try to go on that advanced setting. It's it's going to be really difficult. Fortunately for me, I, I don't change my sense. I've been on the same sense for like two years. So pre-Shadow Legacy, when the sense was just like one slider, I basically just, I use a, a sensitivity converter, which I'll have linked in the description below. Um, and I basically converted my sense from pre-Shadow Legacy to, you know, Shadow Legacy sense. So I, it gave me the numbers for 1x, 1.5x, 2x. Um, so again, I'll have that link below. So if, like, if you knew what your ADS sense was before Shadow Legacy, you can use that sensitivity converter to convert your sense. And if you don't know how to use the converter, um, I made a video on it. So I'll have that in the description as well. So you can watch that video. Um, along with that video is my tips playlist. I have a bunch of videos like this one. So if you guys like to watch that, uh, the tips playlist will be in the description as well. I think I have like 30 videos in it now. So uh, some good content in there if you guys would like to watch that. But anyways, um, yeah, if you don't want to try to find like a new ADS sense, you kind of want to try one of your old ADS sense, you could do the sense converter thing. Um, but for the most part, like really the only way to find your sense is going to be just tweaking things until it feels comfortable. So basically, like if you're doing the standard ADS setting, I would just change it by five up or down until you find something really comfortable. And again, you're just flicking on two separate objects until it feels good. So if that works for you, then perfect. Um, after you think you've kind of like found a, a sense that you're good at flicking the two objects with, you could kind of run through a T-hunt or a few T-hunts and kind of see how it feels for you. Um, but personally, that's how I found my sense way back in the day is just like, okay, can I flick on this object? Can I flick on the other object? Um, so I think that's probably like the main way to go about things. But I think that's about it for this video. I know it's kind of like me basically spending just like tweak your sense until it's comfortable, but um, I hope I kind of gave you like a different perspective on it or something. I mean, like to be honest, there's not much you can do to to like really find your sense. Like there's there's not like some magical setting to turn on or like anything like that. It's it's seriously just tweaking it and, until something feels comfortable. So, I mean, I know it's kind of simplified, but that's kind of all I can say on this topic. But a lot of people have been asking me about it, so I figured I'd just pop out the video anyways. But um, anyways, if you guys like the video, I really would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Again, it really does help me out. Also, that tips playlist, I have a bunch of content in there. I have like a, a aim training guide, like two of them. Um, I have my old how to find your sense video if you'd like to watch that one. Um, I don't think it'll help you too much uh, ADS speed wise, um, but if you'd like to watch that, it's still there. Also my sense converter video, if you want to convert your sense, your ADS sense from the old season, you can do that. Um, a, a, whole, a whole bunch of different videos, like a recall guide video, all sorts of things. So again, if you guys enjoy this content, do be sure to subscribe. I post daily on YouTube. I also stream on Twitch, which will be linked in the description. But anyways, as always, guys, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.